Hello! If you are new here, hello, welcome to my channel. If you're returning, thanks for stopping by again. I am Melissa. I am a part-time reseller and a full-time grad student. I sell clothing on sites like Poshmark, Macari, Curtsy, Depop. I think that's it. Poshmark, Macari, Curtsy, and Depop. I like finding used clothes and reselling it for a profit and giving it to new homes so they can get extra wear. Today's video is going to be a thrift with me and haul. Um, it is a trend that's going around. Um, there's some YouTubers that have been doing it and I just thought it looked fun so I thought I'd do it too. Um, it is taking $15 and seeing how much you could sell them for. So decided to go thrifting. I actually went earlier today, so I am going to be in a different outfit and a different hairstyle when you see me, and then we'll come back and I'll show you what I got. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Today is a good day because I'm going to Goodwill. <laughs> um, so I have been seeing all over my feed about turning $15 into profit. So I thought I would do the exact same thing. I have $15 cash right here and I am going to see what I can get with it. So I don't have too much time, but I thought I'd bring you guys along with me and we'll see what we can do. All right, let's head in. All right, I don't know about you, but the first place I always go is leggings. Personally, I just think they're the funnest thing to thrift. Those were a pair of Fabletics leggings, and I really liked them, but they were $8, and that just didn't seem like a good, good buy for this trip, or this, um, this challenge. Um, I always go through them thinking I'm going to find something great, these leggings I really liked. I didn't know the brand and I tried looking them up. It's like dot fifty nine. I don't know, like fifty nine seconds maybe. I tried a couple different things. I even tried Google Lens. I couldn't figure it out. So if you know, let me know. Tell me if I did a bad job. Alright, those were a pair of torrid like heeled blue blueties booties and I really liked them but they were $14 if you could read that and that would have been my whole challenge so we would have been done with the video so I put them back. These were a shockingly cute pair of Liz Claiborne boots. They were um, just like a suede material. I think they were real leather but they were an awkward like mid-calf length so I put them back. This Goodwill that I'm at is very hit or miss. Some days it is great, and then some days it's not, which I mean is any Goodwill. Ooh, this purse was a, I can't remember what it's called. I'll say it later. It was Dot and something, but I loved the look of it. It was a tiny mini bag, and I put it in my cart. Spoiler alert, I picked it up. I also found this bag, which I thought was really cute. It reminded me of the 90s, but um, later in reviewing it, I realized that it had somebody's initials on the front, and I didn't pick it up. Spoiler alert. Here are some more shoes. Uh, these were really cute. I should have gotten them. I kind of regret it now, but they're a block heel uh, torrid boot. They were new without tag, and you can't see it, but they were, I think, $8. So, I mean, still expensive, but, oh, there it goes, $8. And they were originally, I think, $78. You'll see I come back to them a couple times. Yep, there I am, going back to 78, I think is what it said. 
I didn't get them, but I should have. I regret it. Let me know if you would have gotten them. Those Kato shoes I really liked. I'm a big like mule fan, but the fabric was really weird, so I didn't pick them up. I actually have a pair of shoes just like that. They were um, Sam Edelman. So these shoes just cracked me up. I actually owned a pair of these uh, like five years ago. And they are Charlotte Russe, but they were really comfy shoes. So I kind of missed them, but I didn't pick them up. These are a new day, which is just Target. But every time I go into a thrift store, it seems that I find that shoe. I don't know. Do you have one of those things that you just like always think is something and then it's not? Alright, so next up is sweaters. That one looked very vintage. I really liked it, but I didn't pick it up. That, I cannot remember what it was, but I picked it up for a second and then put it back. Um, I try and source all year round. Oh, this I swore was like Athleta or something, but it was just Danskin. It was so soft. Here is just your friendly reminder to always put things back on the hanger if they fall down. It helps out the workers and I think it's just, you know, a way of being kind. So after looking at sweaters for a while, I just kind of gave up. Oh, you'll notice this picture uh, in my cart. I don't pick it up, but I really considered it. It was really cute. It was like all the national parks, and yeah, I didn't get it though. Here's me looking at khakis, and I always, I try and skip over all the brightly colored jeans and pants, but I do always look in the greens and the tans because, well, I like the greens and the tans. <laughs> oh, that dress was in the wrong spot. I couldn't figure out what brand it was. It was really cute. It had a cutout, um, but it uh, didn't seem well made, so I just left it there. While we're here, what are some brands that you always find in your thrift store that you never pick up? I always find 41 Hawthorne, but I've had a 41 Hawthorne piece in my closet for well, since the beginning of my reselling career, and it will not sell. Okay, I am back. So I spent just a dollar extra. I did a little filming of what I could, but it got super crowded, so I stopped. <laughs> but um, now that we're done thrifting, let's go into the haul. I'll see you soon. All right, I hope you enjoyed my thrift with me. As I think I said, there were a lot of people by the end of it, so I didn't have much time to film, but I did find some interesting stuff. Um, I did say that I spent a dollar more than $15, which is okay. Um, all my items are priced, um, they were full priced at my Goodwill, so they were each $4 a piece, so that makes 16 and not 15. I got four items and they're a little bit all over the place, so let's start. Alrighty. First things first is this beautiful tank top. I just thought it was very bohemian. I thought it was totally something you would see on Free People, maybe Anthropology. It's got some really beautiful details. I love this lace trim, and then it's got that cinched back. It also, so it's by the brand Chelsea and Violet, which I think is just a um, like boutique brand. I think you can get it at TJ Maxx, but I just thought it was so cute and I picked it up mostly on style other than that. Um, I think I will get about 15 on that. 15, 12, somewhere in there, just because of style. I really liked it um, and it's a perfect, spring piece. 
All right, next is this cute little crossbody. Um, it's got an adjustable strap and you can actually take it out, which is really nice, but I'll show you a close up. So it's got this cute little tassel and then this snap. It's also got a pocket there. And then once you open it up, so you can take the strap out and then it's got a couple card holders. I don't know if you'll be able to see. A couple card holder spots and then a zipper pouch and then just a normal pouch where you can put your phone or something else. It is by the brand Stella and Dot. Um, this also, there's no way you can see it. This also I picked up mostly on style. Um, I've heard of the brand before, but um, comps are all over the place. I would say I'll probably start this at 25 um, and then take offers. I think this is called the Sidekick. Um, that's what it says on the little part right here, but it is in amazing condition. I mean, such great condition for this bag. There's nothing on the inside. I I think it's in impeccable condition. And I just loved these like bohemian little details on it. Uh, so cute. So that's why I got that. I think, again, about 25 um, on that one. This is a J. McLaughlin piece. And J. McLaughlin is more of a business style. Um, but this skirt just called to me. It was like the military-esque, like, you know, with these um, buttons. It just reminded me of like very, very military chic. Um, it does have a kick pleat. Kick pleat. That was really hard to say. Um, it's a size six. And I just thought it was really, really cute. Let me see if it says. So it's cotton and spandex. But I just thought it was really cute. And I... I don't know what I'm going to try. I will probably start that off at 30. And we'll see where it goes. Um, but I'm thinking probably around 30. I have a pair of Joe McLaughlin um pants that have been in my closet forever i was so excited to get them because it was my first time picking them up i need to relist them i just haven't yet anyway all that to say i think this piece being more casual and being um a neutral color will be a really good selling point so i think i'll start it at 30 we'll see this is the piece that i'm really excited about um I am a huge Disney fan. And if you look anywhere, like right here, I have a picture of Disney. Um, but so I love Disney. I love going to Disney. So when I found this, I just had to pick it up. If you don't know what this is, it is a Walt Disney World Spirit Jersey. Jersey. Um, here's the tag. These are extremely expensive um at disney they are between 60 and like 85 dollars if you buy them in the parks um this is actually one of my favorite ones i've always wanted this one it came out i think in 2019 i don't remember exactly what year but it is the purple potion um it's the cutest thing and it is so there's the front logo it's got this beautiful like sparkle detail it's just so cute um so it's the purple potion they originally i think were 79.99 so um comps are about 35 somewhere in there so i will probably start it at 35 um and see where it goes i am so tempted to keep this <laughs> so tempted to but I won't. Um, this is a size small, however, it fits so large. Like, I mean, I'm between a medium large and it would, it's oversized on me. So um, they are known for being oversized. They are known for being super comfortable, super wearable. Um, and so 
I liked it. So I picked it up. Um, and that is it. Really quick haul, but I think, so if I'm adding it up, I'll put a number right here. That is how much I will make, um, relatively, of course, um, you know, that's what I'll start it at. We'll see where it goes. Um, but yeah, so I really enjoyed this little, um, trend that's happening. I thought it would be really fun to try it out, see where it goes for me. Again, like every thrift store is different. Every day is different at a thrift store. So you never know what you're going to find. So if you made it through the end of this, go put a bee at the bottom. Um, if you don't know, Melissa means honeybee. It, um, is my favorite thing. I have bees all over my room. Um, but yeah, I hope you have a great week and I will see you next week. <laughs> Bye.